Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're having Dairy Queen. We're having chicken strips from Dairy Queen. I got the three-piece chicken strip, which of course comes with three of these. Um, comes the meal, I should say. It comes with fries, side of your drink choice. I got Diet Coke over here, or Diet Pepsi. And then I got a little fudge sundae here. And I think that's it with a side of ranch. So let's just start because I'm so freaking hungry. It's a beautiful day, you guys, and I've, I found a perfect place to just park and chill and enjoy my lunch with a lovely view of the Columbia River. And there is a giant bird flying across right now. Wow, that's a big bird. Two of them. No, that one's a crow. That other one's like, looks like a hawk. Is it a hawk? No way. Like it, or an eagle. Hmm, it's, it was huge. Could be a bald eagle or something else. Wow, beautiful. Let's eat. I love the ranch. Mm. I don't know, but something about their ranch. It's always good. Mm. I have some food in the, in the car, like groceries that are kind of not supposed to be in the car for too long so i can't unfortunately stay here too long but it, the air just feels amazing right now like oh, it feels so good mm. napkins it does it feels great to be out here I need to come here more often in this area. Hmm. Yum. So I don't get to Eric Queen that often just because I'm not like the biggest fan of um their food but the chicken strips are pretty good with the ranch fries are not too shabby but yeah I don't know anyways if I could show you guys this view let me just show you that real quick that's my view my view is but uh, this view man we're gonna get out and walk a little bit and then we're gonna have to head home because I don't want the food to get ruined or whatever I'm gonna have meat and butter and I don't want the meat to get bad and the butter like melt French Sunday. I'm gonna put that here in the shade. This is such a beautiful day. I need to come back here again more often. This spot right here is perfect. It's amazing. Like I wish you know that you could camp here. This would be the perfect, the perfect place. Because you have views of the water, which oh, it's it's low tide, so you can really see like all the sand, and you could probably walk out out there. Yeah, I think so. There's people, so I don't know if they're walking down there, but there's some at the other end of this park. Mm, yum. I used to think that these, every time I like get chicken um, strips from this place, I always think that these are small, but they're so filling. So they're like perfect size. Oops.
Mm. I'm trying to think that bird is still up on that tree. Oh, that is definitely a bald eagle. Mm. The second one that just flew by. Because I can see some white on it. And I think, don't bald eagles have white on their tails too a little bit? Oh, I don't remember. It's been a while since I've seen one. That, wow. So they're like catching fish right now. Wow. Yum. Wow. I need to order my um, Washington State Park passes ASAP really soon in Oregon. Mm -hmm. I need to order them ASAP. Yes, I do. So beautiful here. Grocery shopping went pretty good. Not bad. I'm sorry if I feel like I'm rushing, guys. It's because. I kind of am, um, just because I have to get the food home quickly, I want to get out of the car just to show you a little bit of the area. <clears throat> but man, this is like... <sighs> and I'm also going to try sleeping in my tent tonight in my backyard, and um, I need to just practice today and do it tonight so that I can find like some places to go. Um, Camping for free or whatever. It's a fast word. Or I might first just try paid camping somewhere nearby, see how that goes. My only thing is that I'm kind of scared of the night. A little bit. Oh! The eagle. He just flew by again. Wow. He's beautiful. Oh, he's hunting. I saw. Oh, he just went down on the sand. Oh my god. Amazing. Oh, there's a person there. Oh, this woman. How amazing is that? I've never seen an eagle in this specific area. Never. My ranch is almost gone. Hmm. I'm sorry for being kind of quiet. I'm just like taking everything in and observing everything just the nature around me. It's beautiful. I to stop the camera just because I don't want to be weird. I, think, I don't want her to think I'm talking to myself, which in a way I kind of am. Oh man, this place is just beautiful. I need to come here more often. Legit. More often.
What a beautiful place. Okay. I'm almost done. Man, I'm so hungry. Actually, what, did I ever tell you guys that this specific spot, I knew somebody who like managed this area. Like, you know people who host campsites or, yeah, camping places or places like this. He told me if I had a van, he would have, um, he's like, you could have stayed here, you know, to manage a, the property, cut the grass and open the gates or whatever, and you could have stayed here for free. But damn, I don't even have a van or anything. This would have been the perfect spot, oh my god, it would have been like literally vacation every single day. Who would have? Let's drink this a little bit. It would have been perfect. Did I also tell you guys that, I think I did, I met some guy who, um, we met from a van group I believe, and he had a freaking awesome van, he still has it, but oh my gosh, like seeing one of those vans that I see on TV up in person, uh, I, I just realized, damn, that's a huge, huge van. It was freaking uh, amazing. It had a bed, a little kitchen, you know, those um, cargo roof boxes and one in the back. He had everything. His van just looked so gigantic. Nice guy, too. But that was the first time I ever met somebody who actually lives in their van full time. That was just a crazy experience. And we actually went to one of the state park passes over here. Mm -hmm. Walked around. I showed him all the like cool spots over here. It was amazing. This is actually pretty good too ah. I love the fudge it's like my favorite part this thing has melted pretty much we're right next to a highway so that's why it's kind of loud <clears throat> I really wish they made this into a campsite oh it'd be so nice Mm -hmm. This would also be a nice place to just manage and host. All you have to do is open the gates at a certain time and then close them. Because this is like a, a day park, right? It's, you, can, you can stay here for free all day, but you have to leave before it gets dark. So it's like a really awesome place. It's easy to manage. And you have to cut the grass. I've never really cut grass. Like I mean, I have mowed lawn in the, our backyard, but nothing major like this one. But, you know. I'm sure maybe they have like a one of those lawnmower machines that you sit on. Man, I just realized that life is so fucking short and I need to just do this. I'm just I'm just waiting for one final thing and then I'm moving into my car. Uh -uh -uh. Mm-hmm. Crazy, right? I mean, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. Uh, I'm just picturing it. Mm -hmm. So I just, I don't know. I guess I could talk about this in another video because this is probably going to be too long. Let's take one final bite. By the way, they give me the longest spoon in the world. Don't know why. I'm gonna keep this spoon for at home. Could come in handy for something. I don't know what in this container. Something. They'll come in handy for something. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna show you. Let me show you guys outside first, 
and then we'll head home. But I'm going to end the video here, and you guys, I'll show you this in the different videos. This will be all in a different vlog, the whole um, river part. Anyways, I'm sorry, my brain's not working today, it's just... I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.